Hi there, my name is Roman Mironov and my goal for today is to show you the latest the latest features available in the version 308 of the translation program Omega T. I will start with the implemented requests. The first one is this. To show you how this thing works, I created a small document. As you see, this is an um, XLIF file. And here I have, as you see, a note element and another note element. And they actually belong to a segment which is a repetition caution. And here I will now change the note so that you can see how this will change in a mega team. This is my note for Megatee video and the second note for showing how notes work in all right. So here I have one note and the second note. I save the file and I'm now ready to open it in a mega team. Here's my project. All right, so here's this file, and please note the comments pane. All right. So the first caution as the comment: this is my note for a MAGA TV video, and this is the note in the actual XLIF file. And if I proceed to the second one. I have here another note which belongs to the second segment and comes from this note. So this is how this thing works. Obviously you use this feature when you know that your XLIF file has notes. For example, you edit them yourself or your client edit them. All right, let's go on. This one is quite technical and it concerns console. So I don't think this will be useful for many of those who, many of those who listen and watch this video. So we'll keep it for now. The next one is the new debugging information about team projects available in the logs. Now this is quite technical and I will only touch upon this very briefly. In my configuration folder I have this file logger properties. And if I open it I have here this setting. Omega T level finest. This setting makes it possible for Omega T to save additional debugging information about team projects. Again, this is quite technical and normally you do not need to think about it. And uh, in case you need additional information about this, please contact me. All right, the next one. Graphical version of the script check same segments. And the new name is show same segments groovy. Okay, this is the script in my scripts folder. Here's how it looks when opened. And to show you how it works, I have a small file where I translated a few sentences using Microsoft Translator and I forgot to translate this segment. I only wrote the source into the target. So this is how I'm using the script. I will go to Tools, Scripting, and this is the script Show Same Segments. When I click Run, I get this window. And this is actually why 
it says a graphical version. So now we have this window. In this window I can do the following. I have the source and target and in those cases where the source and target match I have a potential error. So in this case I see that most of the errors are false positive because they are simply tags that do not need any translation but in this case obviously I have forgotten to translate the segment correctly. So I can click the number of the segment. It opens in Omega T and here I can correct the translation. This is, uh, please note that this script is very important because normally you want to check your translation for this kind of errors before delivery because it is very easy to, for example, change segmentation settings and then something can go wrong and you have source equal to target as was in this case. And running this script helps you to avoid forgetting about this kind of segments. And of course, as with any script, you can configure it to run on any shortcut. For example, in my case, I have it configured to the shortcut control plus shift plus F9. The next enhancement is concatenating consecutive inserts or deletes separated only by white space in the diff display. To show you how this works, I opened two versions of Omega T simultaneously, the new one, 308, and the old one, 307. And I have opened the same segment here with the same translation memory to see, to show you how the, <coughs> the diff is different. All right, so in the old version we had this. In this case, we had these tools in the translation memory and this tool in the new original. And the diff shows like this. So these, this, then goes white space and tool instead of tools. So we had basically two changes displaying in the diff. Whereas in the new version, they appear just as one change. Instead of these tools, I get this tool. So whenever there is just a white space between inserts or deletes, the program now merges them into one change, which of course makes the diff here more readable. This is the difference. Closely related to this diff improvement is the diff reversed variable now available in the fuzzy matches pane. Let's try to use it. Okay, I'll go to options, external TM access, and here I have my template configured like this. And I'm going to add after this variable, the new variable. So we enter and diff reversed, insert, here it is. Okay, yes. I reload the project and now look at this diff reverse variable displaying the text like this. So in this case, the normal diff displays the new text in blue, this tool, and the old black, and the old text is black and striked out. But the diff reverse displays it in a completely different way. It puts these tools, the old text in blue, and the new text, these tool, in black and striked out. And if you think about it, it makes quite a lot of sense because it actually shows what the old original was and this is the old translation so it might be more intuitive 
but still the div, the original div is very intuitive too and uh, of course I personally have accustomed to it and I'm not sure at this point which of the divs I will use from now on but the point is that this new div reversed variable is very very useful because it is very intuitive the next option is the new option xflip filter to force the f shortcut for this kind of text um, now a disclaimer I'm not completely sure about this this option so what I will show you now is my best guess okay, in again I have this project xlf file in my source folder of the project and here I have added this tag to the only segment in this file so back in the mega team if I go to properties file filters XLIF options I now have this option force shortcut to F of this text all right so whenever this option is enabled such tags appear as F like this and in the tooltip we have the entire tag appearing the next enhancement is a new QA rule in the check rules groovy this new rule checks whether the end punctuation of the source and target segments is the same for instance let's delete the period in this segment and replace the period with a colon in this segment and run the script tools and I have it configured here so I can run it right from here and there you go I have different punctuation again so instead of period I have nothing here and instead of period here I have a colon in the translation so as with any scripts I can jump to the segment and correct it so very useful QA rule the next enhancement now I'm not completely sure about this one so this is again my best guess in my project xlib file I edit the protected tags around caution so this is now a segment containing only protected tags this is how it appears in Omega T so we have protected tags and the text displays here and you, you can even try to translate it but uh, the point is that I couldn't find any difference between this behavior and uh, for example version 306 so this is not very clear for me right now the last enhancement that I will cover is the background of a mesh inserted from an empty folder okay I have this file in my projects empty folder and whenever I open the segment that has a match coming from this memory empty it has a different font it used to be red but now it is more more pleasant to the eye it is salmon red okay when I insert it I get salmon red background now we'll look 
I had two bugs. The first one is not going to write note in projects containing several files. I have a project with two files here. The original file and updated file. I added two nodes in the first file and one node in the second file. Okay, when I go to, I'm now at the segment with the node 1. When I go to the next node, I get the segment with node 2. And the segment with node 3. And when I go to the next node again, I jump back to node 1. All right, so they go in sequential order. And when, here, in the first file, again I have two nodes, 1 and 2. When I want to go to when I want to go to the previous node, naturally a mega T should go to node three, because this is the previous node, not this one. But previously, prior to the version three o eight, a mega T went to this node, so to node two instead of node three. So to the previous node in this file. Now it goes to the correct node. Go to previous node node 3. And again, it used to be node 2 in the same file, but now it goes to the correct node, to the previous node, irregardless of the file. The next bug is hyperlinks in PowerPoint cannot be translated. Fixing this bug resulted in a new option. All right. I will now open the source file. As you can see, I have here the name of the link and the actual address goes like this. So I have the name of the link and the actual link. But Omega T displays only the name of the link, which makes it impossible for me to change the actual link. So right now with the new option, I can tr change the link as well. Properties, file filters, Microsoft Open XML filter, options, and here's the new option. Slide external links. Okay, okay, okay. Reload the project. Boom, here we go. The name. The name of the link and the actual link. So for example, is going to be the, the translation and this will be the updated link. I will now create translated documents, open the translated document and here you can see that the name of the link has changed as well as the actual link as we did it in a mega team. All right, this is it for the review of the version 308. Again, please note that I only covered those features and bug fixes that I found most important, and you may want to check out the changes.txt file yourself and see what else might be of interest to you. So, until next time, bye-bye. Thank you.